Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to make a cool looking soft armrest for your car under a budget of 500 rupees and that too with bare minimum tools and equipments. First step in the process is to make a sketch of the vertical plane. I have done this using a cartoon sheet and scissors using the trial and error technique. Once you are satisfied with the fitment of the plate in the slot, draw the same on a piece of WPC board. You can use a low density WPC board which is easy to cut using knife and blades. Moreover these low density boards are lightweight and cheap. I am using a jigsaw to cut the board. If you don't have any power tools you can use hacksaw blade or even kitchen knife to cut these boards. Once the side plates are done, the next step is to cut the front and back plates. While cutting the front plate due care must be given to the full movement of the hand brake and proper slot to be made. Once all the four plates are done, we can position them using super glue and reinforce the joint using some 1.5 inch screws. It is always advisable to use some longer screws, as the catch power of WPC board is very low, compared to wood or plastic. Once all the jigs of our puzzles are solved, the product will look something like this. Our next step is to create the base plate, and cushion the upper surface. For the cushioning, I am using the package materials I have collected from the online shopping sites. You can also plan the same, and collect the low density sponges, and foam sheets, for a cheap and economical build. I am using heat to stick the foam sheets and sponges. These glue will give good adhesion to the soft material like sponges and foams. You can use some masking tape to help the glue in perfect bonding, as these glues are rubber based, and take some time to set. Our next step is to apply the sponges on all the four side plates. As we have finished the cushioning part, let's move to the wrapping process. I am going to use some old PU leather piece which I have preserved at the time of repair of my recliner. One important point to remember is that the corners and edges should be always stitched together for better finishing. If we simply fold the material along the edges, we will not be able to achieve the cornering effect. The front and back ends are nicely folded and tightly stapled to the base plate. If you don't have such heavy duty staples, you can use normal staples or heat -ex glue. Our next task is to stitch the wrapping for the side plates. It is a tricky game. We need to stitch the parts a bit shorter in size, because the PU leather has got some elastic properties, and will look nice once inserted into the product. A slit is made along the front side for the hand brake housing and nicely folded and stapled to the inner edges. Next step is to attach the top plate to the box with the help of a 2 inch hinges. A short attachment is fixed at the rear top corner of the box to mount the hinges onto the box. Now the box element is joined to the top plate with the help of hinges. Care must be taken to choose the screws of correct length, so that the sharp edges of the screws won't project at the inner edges. Same way the top extension of the cover is also folded nicely towards the inner walls of the box, and stapled nicely. Now we can do some furnishing works inside the armrest box with some vinyl stickers. And our armrest is ready to install. One of the key feature of our armrest is its easy installation process. No screws or mounts are required for the fitment. You need to insert the base portion of the armrest into these cavities on the center console, and it's done. Now enjoy your long ride with the ease and comfort of our armrest. Thanks for watching. Please join us to watch more cool DIY works. See you in the next episode.